Ramela Markarian is known to many of us as a respected civic leader and a community activist. For many years, she has volunteered her time, skills and knowledge to promote the quality of life and make a positive impact in our community. Aside from being a passionate community leader, Romela Morkarian is an accomplished healthcare professional and currently serves as the Vice President of Business Development at Glendale Adventist Medical Center. She consistently builds strong and trusting relationships with the community organizations, physicians and the corporate partners and successfully recruits well-trained physicians to meet the healthcare needs of our community. Romela, you've been one of the senior leaders at the Glendale Adventist Hospital, one of the best hospitals of our community. What does the leadership entail? Thank you so much for being here, Asha Luis, and for this uh, interview. Um, first of all, I'm very blessed to be a part of this wonderful community and to work in this great hospital, Adventist Health Glendale. Um, my role as a leader uh, at this hospital is to uh, make sure that the community's healthcare needs are met uh, through um, strategies uh, that really um, helps bring physicians uh, to our community. So part of my job is actually physician development. So that means making uh, the time to um, bring new physicians on board uh, from different specialties. So that's, uh, that's a strategy that we always uh, um, uh, put in our uh, strategic forecast for uh, five years and uh, we work very hard towards it. Community's health is very important and as a nonprofit hospital um, we have been committed to our mission uh, for many, for 113 years and part of our mission is to make this community a healthier place. So my role is to make sure that our community stays healthy along with other leaders that work with me uh, in various uh, departments. So uh, our number one goal is to make this community a healthier place for everyone. And you're doing a great job at it. Thank you. Appreciate it. I know that values are very important for you. What are the values that demonstrate you as a person and as a leader? That's a great question. Um, for me, integrity is very important. Um, trust, honesty, because as a leader, uh, you need to uh, inspire people, you need to have followers, and they need to really gain that trust in you. So um, that is one um, uh, characteristic of a leader, to be able to uh, onboard and have followers as their group of employees, to be able to trust them, um, and as a person, you know, in your everyday life, um, I, I believe that uh, honesty and, um, you know, sincerity goes a long way. And uh, being kind, you know, I always say no matter what, uh, kindness is, uh, you know, goes a long way. And, uh, and that's one way when you uh, are able to inspire people and be able to really gain their trust uh, so they can follow your lead. So to me, those few characteristics uh, I always uh, believed in and, and I work very hard to, to continue uh, living that, uh, the values. Every successful person has weaknesses and strengths. Uh, what are your weaknesses and strengths as a leader? Hmm. Do I have to answer the weakness part as well? <laughs> well, to, to keep the balance. Uh, yes, yes, for sure. Um, I would say my strengths, as you know, I love people. I love being surrounded by people. So one of my strengths, I would say, is relationship building. Being able to connect with people and listen to people. And um, I love hearing their stories and, and being able to inspire them. You know, I like my actions to inspire people. That's the only way that you connect with them. Um, so for me, some, some, some characteristics we're born with and some characteristics we develop as we mature or, you know, is environmental or the people we, you know, connect to. Um, but uh, I always feel being able to um, inspire, uh, 
um, that's that's a very key um, strength um, and and also being able to be passionate about what you do uh, to me I can sell jello and I still be very passionate about what I'm doing um, passion uh, inspires passion connects and passion um, really brings the best out of people when they see you're passionate they follow your passion um, and those to me are some of the characteristics that I feel I possess, but I also always work on it to build upon it. And um, you know, there's always room for improvement. Um, as far as um, weaknesses, you know, um, even though you didn't want to talk yes, about those. Yes, I'll talk about it because I think a lot of my friends already know some of my weaknesses or people that I work with. Um, they don't see this as a weakness, but I see it as a weakness. As a leader, um, you know, you need to be able to delegate work. Otherwise, you'll be swamped. Um, and sometimes for me, it's very difficult to delegate work. And uh, in my mind, I can do better. So I wanted to keep it and do it myself. But then at the end of the day, you know, uh, you need to be able to coach even if they're not as perfect as you may think they're not but uh, being able to delegate and coach them um, and let go um, of some of these uh, projects uh, for me has been a little bit of a challenge but I'm learning to do that uh, as I'm building my team. I think uh, every leader needs to uh, have a, a good team um, because again they're the backbone of you know moving the dial. And um, in my in my work, um, I I believe in team building and and uh, my weakness again to let go of some of these projects that I think I can do better. Um, but uh, I have I'm learning to to do that as my team is developing and getting better in doing uh, a lot of great things. And the way you make a difference in the life of the community, I can just uh, say that uh, you have a special way to connect with people on different levels. Thank you, thank you, and it all comes with sincerity. I think, you know, you can um, you can try uh, to you know go by the book, and uh, you know, and sometimes it doesn't work. You just need to be out there, put yourself out there, um, and and I always tell this to some of our interns that uh, they come to us and they want to you know. Uh, work with us and learn from us and I always say you know do your best but at the same time you know uh, just be sincere and um, just be yourself be yourself and be open to learning so those are um, you know some of the advices that I right. give to my interns and listen to your heart listen to your heart absolutely and don't be afraid to ask questions you know, because it's better to ask questions than, you know, not knowingly do something that would have a, a, a negative consequence. So always ask and, and uh, I think, you know, a lot of leaders are very open to openly give advice. And that's the key to a successful that's the key. learning process. Yes. Yurakanchuri zdevavurman vera mez azdesutsyun uni mer jarangutsyuna mer entanika mer hamenka. Մենք իմաստավորում ենք կյանքը մեր ընկալումներով ու գործերով։ Գործեր, որ կապրեն դարեդար։ Մարդկային հիշողությունը իսկական պարքև է։ Ամեն մի կյանք ստեղծում է իր սեփական ուղին։ Glendale Funeral Home հաստատությունը պատրաստ է ցուցաբերել հատուկ ուշադրություն իր բազմազան ծառայությունների շնորհիվ։ Ամեն լավագույնը հազվադեպ է։ Sunshine տարածների կենտրոնում հոգատար եւ մասնագիտական խնամքն ու վերաբերմունքը կրկնակի լիցք են տալիս։ Ձեզ ապահովում ենք տրանսպորտային միջոցով, դիետոլոգի կողմից հատուկ վերանայված նախաճաշով եւ ճաշով։ Դուք ստանում եք բժշկական խնամք եւ ֆիզիոթերապիա, ունենք նաեւ սոցիալական ծառայություններ։ Հետաքրքիր ժամանցային ծրագրերով ձեր օրը դարձնում ենք լիարժեք։ Սпасում ենք ձեզ ձեր առողջությունը մեր առաջնակարգ խնդիրն է։ International Families Association is a non-profit organization. Կազմակերպություն, որ տարիներ շարունակ ծառայում է 9-ից 4-ր եկամուտ ունեցող ընտանիքների։ Յուրաքանչյուր երկու շաբթի եւ 4-րդ շաբթի օրերին կեսօրից հետո ժամը 2-ից 5-ը տրամադրվում է անվճար ուտելիք եւ այլ ապրանքներ։ Ընդունվում է ամեն տեսակի հովանավորություն։ Մանրամասների համար զանգահարել 8770-0779 հերախոսը համարով։ Ramela, giving back and volunteering has been a big part of your life. Yeah, I love volunteering. So, um, I think there's so many great causes in our community and I become to learn about them, um, you know, 
on a regular basis. So for me, causes are inspiring. Good cause inspires me to get involved. And, and when you get involved and me, make a difference and make a direct impact, that's so addictive. You know, I mean, you just want to do more. And, uh, and uh, as, you know, Gandhi says, um, find yourself by losing yourself in the service of others. And uh, there's, there's so much reward. is when we give to others. So to me, um, I like to inspire others to give, to volunteer, and um, to make a difference. I'm sorry. What you do? What you do? You should be proud of yourself. Thank you. Again, you know, um, I'm so grateful f uh, to be able to work with Adventist Health Glendale. Uh, their mission, our mission, is to live, um, you know, God's love by giving back. Um, and part of our um, giving back is not just in our community, but going um, to different parts of the world. We do mission trips to Philippines, Africa, um, you know, we go to Mexico. And uh, recently, for the past four years, we've been uh, going to Armenia. And I've been, um, you know, part of this mission, the organizing committee. And, and we have many, many physicians. And every year, you know, that group of volunteers just expands. Our physicians close their offices. Um, and we all take our vacations. We all pay for our, you know, uh, um, um, travel expenses and lodging uh, to, you know, to just give back. And, and every year, as I said, more physicians are joining us. So in, you know, in addition to what we do in the community and what I like to do in our own community through some of these great organizations that I had the opportunity to, to work with and collaborate, um, you know, going to Armenia has been the highlight of my volunteerism. Because when you come back, you feel like you have been transforming lives. You come back renewed. You come back with such an um, impact that you make and they make on you. I mean, we thank them for really making us, giving us the opportunity to, to go there because I can uh, sincerely tell you, um, you know, the, the feeling, uh, the impact that we make and the feeling that we get from them is more energizing it's, and it's so fulfilling. Um, so that makes us keep going back every year. And your recent trip was when? Like weeks um, ago? Yeah, a few weeks ago actually. It was uh, mid-October um, and uh, we, we returned and we went this year to two different locations. Uh, we went to um, Noyamberian where originally we started and uh, this year was actually an extended um, mission trip because we had 70 people attending um, and lots of surgeons from different specialties. So we went to Noyamberian and we also went to Artsakh, uh, which was a quite an experience. I mean, you know, just helping people of Artsakh. Very productive. Very productive and uh, uh, lots of surgeries, 200 plus surgeries, uh, procedures. Um, we went to villages and we were able to deliver care at the villages. And, amazing. Uh, yeah, so it was all, you know, um, all in all, it was an amazing experience. And we continue our mission again. As we come back, we don't stop. We continue our um, you know collaboration with with those hospitals to make sure they're sustainable and they continue the work that we did and I'm sure they're very grateful for that and we're grateful for them we're grateful for them uh, Romela life and work balance for a professional woman in the 21st century is very tough how do you manage oh god that is a difficult question and if you ask my husband he'll say she's not managing it well <laughs> um, I would say, you know, everyone struggles with that, you know, because you want to be good at what you do at work and you want to be good at what you do at home. So that balance is, um, you know, is not always um, uh, achievable, but we all work towards it, you know. Um, so for me, it's really prioritizing, prioritizing what's important. And it's difficult because I love my job so much. You know, I don't see it as a job. I wake up every day and I come to this wonderful place and I feel like, I'm making a difference. I love what I do. So it's, it's hard to manage um, all of that, you know, emotional attachment to work as well as home. Um, but I prioritize. I make sure, you know, I unplug if there is time that I need to take off. You know, and believe it or not, these mission trips have been really, really for me as, you know, a healthy lifestyle. It really means to me um, the unplugging that we do from this, you know, from the technology and from everything. And when we go to these villages, you're just, you know, renewed. 
It's from meditation. at a different it's meditation at a different level so I, I like to prioritize I like to have a better time management skill sometimes I'll be working here and I forget it's 7 p.m. you know <laughs> so it, it's, I work. get carried away with work so uh, again being able to do a better time management and spend as much time as I can with my family you know um, that has been um, keeping me uh, pretty much you know on, on track and hopefully I can do better everyone can do better so uh, there's room for improvement. there is always room for improvement I can say that for sure uh, Ramela every well-established institution has challenges and of course there are opportunities what are the challenges and opportunities at the Glendale Adventist Hospital yes you're absolutely right I mean there are always uh, challenges that we deal with on a daily basis challenges like operations challenges and and healthcare itself um, is becoming um, a very complicated um, field uh, there are always changes you know health health plans um, you know some of the special needs that we face uh, so they're always on a daily basis you know staffing need so those are some of the challenges that we we face with um, almost daily basis but but we tr we tackle them as you know as a professional and we try to you know kind of uh, look at every um, opportunity that we can grab as we're um, looking at those challenges as well so um, I would say in our community we have challenges to um, make sure that uh, certain um, uh, detecting some of the um, um, early early stages of um, diseases. So that's not only the hospital is challenged with that, but also I think the community is challenged with that as well. Being able to um, diagnose um, again and, and treat from early stages, and we're working with um, you know with the city of Glendale. We're working with different institutions, healthcare organizations to make sure that um, uh, that we are prioritizing what's best for our community um, and as far as um, you know again opportunities um, making Glendale a, a healthier community you know being able to address the smoking issues being able to address obesity childhood obesity raising, so awareness. raising awareness and that those are the key um, role that the hospital plays but of course that that uh, that's a big undertaking and that that comes with challenges um, but we're looking at um, at that as our responsibility that as a healthcare organization we need to absolutely address and uh, be able to make sure that uh, this community is, is a healthy community for us and the generations to come thank you for putting your heart and soul into this absolutely my pleasure I look around in your office and I see few words, but I'm sure there are many more. And, and I'm positive that every single recognition and an, an award has a meaning for you. Absolutely. I mean, um, you know, uh, I feel these recognitions and awards are really um, validating um, the work. Not that everyone needs a validation, but it's just very rewarding and it's feeling appreciated. Exactly. Feeling appreciated is always great. Um, but I always remind myself, we're all human beings, you know, I mean, these all feel good awards and um, it's amazing. But I always remind myself that this should be, these awards are like, um, you know, a guiding light that will lead you to better things you know it should uh, not get in my head and it should not um, stop me from doing more it actually should encourage me to do more um, and uh, and that's what I try to do I, I I appreciate all this awards and and but at the end of the day you know we need to be able to inspire others by our awards you know and use this as I said a, a guiding light um, to to do more and to go places and do better and bigger things so uh, thank you thank you for <laughs> reminding me to stay humble and, and that's you know humility I think is a big piece of um, you know success uh, and being able to um, you know kind of continue um, the work we do with, uh, with with kindness and humility and be able to be approachable to almost anyone that comes across um, and and be able to guide them and an award can give you a boost. 
Yes, yes, of course. Those are all great, uh, you know, the appreciations. We always say, even with our employees, you know, um, how do you reward them um, so they can feel good about what they do and they feel appreciated. So, um, and I feel absolutely appreciated by our community, um, by, our, my, by my hospital, and, and uh, that absolutely is a great honor, and I'm truly humbled for that. You promised us a tour, so yes. maybe we can uh, take a quick tour. I know there's a lot to talk about, but uh, uh, we'll have time to cover so much uh, in the future. Sure. And I would like to thank you for making time for us. This was really uh, important for our community and for our television program. Uh, so um, once again, thank you and wishing you the best. My pleasure. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Thank you. Yurakan Churis de Vavorman Vera, Mesas de Susun Unimer Jaran Gutsuna, Merentanike, Merhamenka. Menk Imastavorumen Kyanka, Mer and Kalum Nerov, Ugorterov. Gortes, Vorkapren Daredar. Martka in Hishogutsuna, Iskakan Parkeve. Amen Mikyank, Stertsume, Isepakan Urin. Glendale Funeral Home has Tatutsuna, Patras de Sutsaberel Hatu Kushadrutsun, Irbaz Mazan Tarayutsun Nerish Norif. Amen Lava Guine has Vadepe. Sunshine Tarets Nerik and Tronum, Hokatar, Yev Masnagitakan, Hanam Knovera Berunka, Kerkenaki, Litzken Talis. Zezapa of Women Transporta in Mijotsov. Dietologico meets Hatuk, Veranai Bats Nahajashov, Yev Chashov. Dukstanumek Bezhkakan, Hanam, Yev Physiotherapia. Unank Naev Socialakan Zarayutsunner. Heta Kerki Jamansa in Zerakerov, Zer Oredarts Numen, Liarshek. Spasumeng Zez. Zerar of Chitsuna, Medarach Nakar Hakirne. November 6, Hanara Wurtsun Kunenank Kvarkelu Hokut Measure SE. Measure SE Artsun Kun Glendelum Gansvok Sales Tax Ka Bartsana Yere Karo Tokoso. Numan Ores Drutsun Nui Norek Kvark Vinaev Burbank Pasadena Yev San Fernando Kavaknerum. Polores Kavaknerum Numan Ores Drutsun Arachakum Voshte Vorovetev Menkuzumeng Bartsa Sales Tax. Al Vorovetev Gitenk for County Yev Nahanga in Ishkanutsunere Sales Tax Bartsa Stumen Arans Merkam Kahartsnelu. Եվ գումարները, որոնք գանձվում են, չեն վերադառնում մեր քաղաք։ Մեջորը անցկացնելու դեպքում մոտ 30 միլիոն դոլար կգոյացվի, որոնք օգտագործվեն ցած երկամուտ ունեցող անձանց համար նախատեսված բնակարաններ ստեղծելու, մեր ապահովության մակարդակը բարձր պահելու, ինչպես նաև քաղաքի կողմից մատակարարվող ծառայությունների բարձր մակարդակը պահպանելու համար։ Նոյեմբերի 6-ին միասին քվեարկենք այո Measure S. I study Glendale in his million dollar Guarge, Los Angeles County in the Ragan sales tax. The white Kumarang Sanami and Das million dollar Octa Corzelu, the Ragan Zrakir Nero Hamar. Measure H for Ansel Dari Los Angeles County, Jovert Kvergets Ayo, Nebastelu Homeless Nerun, I Kumaren, Glendale Kark Gstana, Mian Yereka in his unique as a dollar, the Ragan Zrakir Nero Hamar. Panatsev Essega, Measure S, Gabahove, Glendale sales tax. Հաչորդ գետ 75 տոգոսը, որ այդ քումարը օգտագործվի այդ Sales Tax-ի քումարը օգտագործվի միայն Glendale-ի համար։ Նոյեմբեր 6-ին 
kvergetsek IO measure as in what it kumar ner manan glendeli match on November 6th for yes on measure S. Hi, I'm Elisa Smarian, the executive director of the Armenian American Chamber of Commerce, CEO of Heritage Idri. Yes, Glendale is a wonderful place to live and we would love to keep the tax dollars here in Glendale. Hi, I'm Sarkis Kabichan, owner of Avant Garden, and I support Measure S. Hi, my name is Annie Lavonia with Allure Events and Catering. Measure S will maintain employment level for the Glendale Police Department and will beautify our community. Hi, my name is Arbi Sardarian. I'm the owner of the Atmosphere Restaurants. Let's vote yes on Measure S. I'm Sedam Natsakanian. Vote yes on Measure S November 6. Measure S will keep money spent in the city of Glendale returning to the city of Glendale to preserve and improve the quality of life in Glendale. Vote yes on Measure S. Sirali hai jogavud barevdes. Yes, Caroline nam Tomford specialist of Bloomingdale's Glendale Loom. Nori tsekelam dzezi asem vor mer tarin ma kamvat ragire elnelu e Tomford master class shot love dasarane nerang vor Tomford duhi kam Tomfordi makeup ne shot serum. Galisek reserve piti zertega reserve anek Galisek yev Tomfordi masin ekso vor elu. Եվ ամեն ինչ, որ այդ որ արնեք լրիվ կազմերիկ դիպարտմենթում, իշ որ գնեք այդ որը ամեն հարույ դոլարի վրա պետի 25 դոլար ռիվորդ ստանակ։ Ես իմ այդ արի թա, որ տարին մայան կամայելնում և կարող եմ ասեմ շատ մարդիկ սպասում են առավոտ շուտ այլնելու ես ծրագիրը, իրա մանրամասություներ ժամը շատ կարդ է չեմ կարը բացատրել, բայց կարող եք ես համարին զանգեք, ութ մեկ ութ, վեցի երեկ ութ, կարասուն, կարասուն հին շատ կսիրեմ, որ ձեզի մանրավասությունը � Nine nine.